If you had one wish, what would you wish for? That's a stupid way to start the video. When you wish upon a star... Mm, let's try again. I just spent some of my hard-earned money that I could have used for survival on little tricks from Wish.com, and now we're gonna see if they even work. Nailed it. What up, crew? Hope you're doing well. My name is Vinit, and I have an addiction to playing cards. Yay! But recently, I wanted to do something different, get outside that playing card zone, and see what else is available on the World Wide Web. So I did what any normal person who's addicted to playing cards and has a small YouTube channel would do, online shop. But in my whole life, I've actually never done magic shopping for like different types of gimmicks. Everything that I have has been gifted to me from other people. So I went online and looked for gimmick magic tricks and I found out they're very expensive. Like who has this money? So what I did instead was go to wish.com, find similar tricks, and now I'm gonna try them out with you. So for the next couple of days, I'm gonna practice and try these things out and you're gonna tell me how they are. I am pretty excited, so let's do this. If we're being completely honest here, I don't even remember what I bought. So we're gonna open up one of these items today and see how it is, and I'll take it from there. I also brought up my phone along with the receipt so we know exactly how much I paid for each one of these tricks. So let's open up this one and uh, see exactly what we got inside. So this first thing right here is a Card Vanish Illusion Change Sleeve, and I've seen this used so many times online whenever I'm scrolling through TikTok or Instagram or wherever. So the way this pretty much works, and by the way, I paid like $2.83 for this, along with $2 additional shipping. So it came out to just a little under $5 for this whole thing. So let's put a card inside. So this is the Joker. I'm gonna put the Joker right inside here. Check it out. Put the Joker in like this. And now clearly you can see the Joker's there. Well, hopefully clearly you can see the Joker's there. So I think it's upside down, but there it is. There is the Joker, hopefully you can see that. It's difficult for me to see though. I'm having trouble seeing it myself. All right, you can see that Joker. The whole goal is to take this Joker, kind of shake it and check it out. It changed into the Four of Hearts. I know, isn't it just freaking amazing? And now if I shake it again, it changed back into the Joker and there it is, the Joker. Pure magic. Again, I'll do it for you one more time. Watch closely. Bam, there it is, changed into the Four of Hearts. Now, one thing I would like to say though is I feel like it's not as clean or as clear to see through this. Maybe it's just my angle or I'm going blind or something, but I would have preferred if this was a bit more clear on what card was here. Maybe it's easier to see from further away. If I try, let me try it on myself from like back here. No, like when you're looking at the Joker, it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look as, as clear. So maybe I would have preferred if it was a bit more clear and maybe that works a bit better with the original trick. I'm sure this is just, a random knockoff that was that they was created. So yeah, number one, we're all set. Okay, what should we go for next? I'll take one of the smaller ones, this one or this one. These are both actually very light. I think I had ordered two different types of cloths. So we're gonna go with this one. Let's open this one up and uh, see what is inside. So here we are, as so you can clearly see, it is a cloth and uh, we don't need that. Take it away. Take this bad boy back out of here. Bam. Oh, this is the, uh, this is what I had ordered. I had ordered the, uh, the, uh, the cloth through the phone effect. I'm gonna practice this myself and then show you because you know, I don't want you to see all the magic being revealed. How do you, how do you even use this? I have, I have zero idea. Guys, this is not, this is not working out. The cloth is not going through the phone. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, yeah. All right, so here we go. After trying it out for 10 minutes, check this out. I'm gonna pull it right through the phone. Watch this. Going right into the phone screen. Look at that. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's pure magic. Oh, how does anyone ever do this? Oh my God, pure magic. And that's just, that's just what it is. Pure, pure magic, obviously. I think what I've really learned from my experience so far is either I should stick to card magic or not buy the cheaper versions of gimmicks because they don't function as well. Yeah. So I paid $3.37 for this uh, scarf through phone trick. And as of right now, definitely not worth it. All right, so let's take a look at what else we got. This is 
I'm not sure. If I could read, I would tell you what that was, but I'm not exactly sure which what's in here. I have a good feeling I think I know, but I'm not gonna say it in case I'm completely wrong. All right, here we go. This is, ah. I'm sure you've seen this everywhere on like TikTok, YouTube shorts, Instagram, whatever. I'm sure you've seen this everywhere. This is the, the card to watch trick, right? I have no idea how it works. I'm not gonna do the full reveal in front of you because you know, that's, I don't think I should do that. But I bought this thing for about $12.35 and the shipping cost was $8. So I paid about $20 for this. I'm curious to see if it's actually worth it. I'm also very curious to see how it works because I have seen this done so many times. I never actually knew how to do it, but I always just gave it off or like played it off. Like, yeah, that's a gimmick. That's, that's stupid. But I'm curious. They gave like a, a little QR code here to show how, maybe I shouldn't show you the QR code, but they gave like a little QR code here on showing the tutorial for it. It's a teaching video. They spelled teaching wrong, but that's fine. And uh, I'm gonna test it out, see how it is. I'm sitting here watching the teaching video and realizing it's not in English. Now what? So after going through all that effort and watching the full video of like 10 times and trying to understand how it actually works, this is not gonna be an easy one to pick up. But maybe at the end of this video, I'll do like a compilation of all the tricks. But as of right now, it seems like the $20 that I spent on this was definitely not worth it. But then again, we'll see at the end. If I actually practice this stuff out, we'll see at the end how it works. All right, the next thing we have is this. This is like the thinnest, thinnest little bag here. If I can open. And it is, this is an ordinary cloth. What did I buy? What did I even buy? This is a magic trick coin through pad. I paid $1 for this, okay? I paid $1 for, the, for this thing and then I also paid $1 for shipping. They better have instructions on here, man. This, what, what do I, what do I do with this? What is this for? How would I put a coin? Let me go get a coin, all right? Let me get a coin. So while I was getting a coin, also looking through the images, it seems like I need a glass or a cup as well. So here we go. I think the whole purpose is to get this coin through this magical mat. What's it called? Through this magical pad. Are you ready for this? Here's where the magic happens. I think I also need a rubber band to tie around this thing. That's how it's gonna work. <sighs> so I looked online, right? There are absolutely zero instructions with this. How do I, how do I know what I'm doing? I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. How is this, how does this work? I'm supposed to have a rubber band, which I do not have apparently here. And uh, the coin's not, the coin's, the coin's not going through. There are zero instructions, help. Yeah, maybe we'll just come back to this at a later time, put this away for now, and we'll see what else we got. Again, that was $2, so I feel like it's not terrible if I lost that money. Okay, up next, um, I this is a ring. I believe this is a ring. And the question is, how much did I pay for it? We shall find out. Oh, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be a flying magical ring, okay? Let's see how much I paid for it. I paid, how much did I pay for this? Yep, I paid $3 for this ring and it was also $3 of shipping. So $6 for a floating ring, okay? I guarantee you it's gonna be like a piece of string that I'm floating the ring with. What is this? Let's see if we got any instructions on here. And of course I can't read these instructions because they are not in English, but I also doubt their instructions. Now there's also this QR code. Let's see what the QR code takes us. QR code takes us to yuku.com, which I'm pretty sure is a video website. And of course I can't watch the video for some reason because I need a password apparently. Then again, I did only spend like three bucks or a total of six bucks on this. So let's open it up. See, it's only three dollars, so I don't so don't I also don't want to break it. Oh! See, it's, a, it's an invisible string. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's an invisible string, which is pretty cool. I've always wanted this so I can see how I want to use it. But okay, very nice. So it's an invisible string with a little bit of putty stuck to the end of it, which I think could help in levitating the string. 
There's also another invisible string. I don't even know what this is. Maybe this is more putty. And there are a bunch of, <laughs> there are a bunch of bicycle playing cards. Check that out. Now that's a bicycle playing card right there. I'm curious what I need bicycle playing cards for. I thought I just needed the ring to make the ring float. Okay. All right, well the lev ring is stainless steel. So I got a stainless steel ring for like three bucks or six bucks, not too shabby. All right, all right, let's put this back. Um, how would this, how would, I have never actually used anything like this before. So you're gonna have to excuse my not knowing anything. Does, does it look like it's floating? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me make it more magical for you. Are you ready for this? I'm wearing this ring, right? I'm out in public, I'm wearing this ring and I have this hidden away somewhere, okay? And now someone's like, oh, show me some magic. I'm like, oh, yo, I know some magic. Check this out, I have this ring right here. And now watch. <sighs> oh. See, but it, it looks like it's dangling. That's the problem I have. It looks like, the ring looks like it's dangling. Oh, but did you see it fly off screen? That's the real question. Honestly, I would have assumed that it would have something like this, especially if it's only three bucks. But as of right now, since I have zero clues, zero instruction on how to use this, this has not been helpful. So what I clearly need is a magician's mind in order to make this stuff work, which it's not working right now. We'll see what the item is. This is trash. This thing right here. I have seen something similar used in Ten and Tell of Fulas, where the guy kind of riffles through the deck and the, the magician that's that you can see on there pulls the spectator's card out of a hat per se or something like I don't know what the line is. All right, but let's get this opened up and test it. Oh, they gave me a gift. It's uh, the calculation card. Interesting, I'll take a look at this later. But how much did I pay for this? Um, this thing, I paid $0 shipping, by the way, free shipping, and I paid $16 for this deck. So, oh, it's at, the effect is written in English on the back of this. So it says, spectator names any card. A stick figure magician uh, drawn on the deck becomes an animated cartoon, and he pulls a taco from his top hat eats it and produces a mysterious cloud of gas, which re <laughs> to reveal the selected card. I guess that's kind of funny. Curious to see how this works. As you can see, the instructions are not in English. So this is something that will need to be figured out by me, of course. So let's open it up. Let's open it up and see. I'm curious to see the inner workings of this trick. It is a card trick after all, so I love me some card tricks. So I think I know how this works. I just quickly just, you know, flip through it. I'm not gonna reveal it just yet. Maybe I'll do it again. Like I said, a, a whole reveal thing at the end. It's, is it getting dark? Let me, let me turn the light up. So I gotta say, this is pretty cool. Let me, let me quickly show you here, just flipping through. Hopefully you can see it well. You can see the magician, he's reaching into his hat, pulls out a card and we don't know what card it is because obviously no one has picked a card yet. So you just gotta go with it. But I think, even though I can't read these instructions, just because I have done card magic for so long. I think I know how this works and it is pretty cool. You will 100% see me doing this, a trick for this uh, at the end. So overall haul, first impressions, these I kind of know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing on this side right here. This I'm not 100% sure about, but I can somewhat make it work. No idea what's going on here. No idea what's going on here. And like, I don't even, I don't even know. Maybe I know how to make this work, but it's just, it's not working at all, so. So here's what's gonna happen now. Over the next one to two days, I'm gonna practice all of these effects and try to perform them for you by the end of this video.
Whew, that was a long video, but hopefully you got to enjoy or at least yell at the screen while I was uh, struggling. And if there's one thing I learned off of buying magic from Wish, it's just buy the original, original tricks. I'm sure they work so much better. But anyway, I'd love to know what you guys thought of these tricks. So do let me know down in the comments below and let me know if you enjoyed this type of content so I can potentially see about making it in the future. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day ahead and I'll see you really soon. Does that even look like magic? I don't know.